babes welcome back to another video happy valentine's day so for today's video i'm going to be doing a valentine's day look um my first one actually so we're gonna be doing that i'm actually gonna go to work so it's perfect time for me to do a makeup look for valentine's day so that's what i'm gonna be doing for you guys today so first off i already did my hair and I'm gonna just put my headband on. Because I make up goes the way I planned. I do have a picture that I wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Morphe palette. I'm gonna be using this palette right here. It has all the purples and pinks that I need. And it's Valentine's Day. And I do like Valentine's Day. I really do I love getting gifts. You know, or I like receiving I like giving gifts or receiving gifts. But this year it's different so um yeah so but i still keep a smile on my face because it's valentine's day and also i have my family that's more important so yeah um we're gonna start doing my eyes actually i'm gonna do my eyebrows first i should have done that before the video i just remembered that so let me just go through that real quick and then i'll be right back okay so i did my eyebrows now to start with the look so now what I'm going to do is, I've got my brushes, I have my palette here already. I'm going to go with the first pink, which I see in this, in this, um, in this look. So I'm going to go with pink. I'm going to go pink. Okay, so we're going to grab a small brush. I'm going with pink. Go ahead and go ahead and just start with this color. It's a very light pink, so you're not gonna see the color. But, you know, obviously, this is something. I'm gonna try to use another brush, but this brush is not working, so I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pink. It's very light, very light pink. You can barely see it. Like that. I'm actually gonna put tape on the top. Just to really just use it as a transition transition shade. So I'm gonna going ahead and doing that, and do the same with the other eye. I really hope this goes well. ahead and put that purple I'm gonna go back to that pink and we're gonna diffuse it a little more but right now I'm gonna go ahead and just use that to blend the purple purple looks I haven't used this palette in so long so I'm really happy that I'm going back to this palette and using it for today's video because I haven't used it I've been with it it's just been sitting there so really happy I have a chance to play with it right there. we have two purples right there now we're gonna go with the burgundy and really put that burgundy in there. I'm using a smaller brush. Playing with colors is so frustrating and nerve wracking for me, especially when I'm trying to do like like these type of looks, just because um. It's scary. So we're gonna go back with the pink, that same pink that we used in the beginning. And we're gonna go ahead and diffuse that with that pink. Just diffuse it. So there's that pink color. I'm already diffusing that color with the pink. Go ahead and just put the same burgundy back again. So we're gonna go with the same color and just go back with that color. I'm gonna 
go with this other color. It's like close to a purple, but it's like burgundy as well. And then those colors are plums up and wine, wine up. Why not? That's what I'm using right now. To really make that purple pop, you know? I love recreating looks because I really tried, like, it really is a challenge for me. So, I feel like, you know, why not? We're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Okay, guys, I came back and I cut my creases and I did, you know, the whole short run again kind of thing. Alright, so now we're gonna go fill in the cut crease. And there's a shade that actually matches that color in the picture, so I'm really excited. So, we're gonna go ahead and use this flat brush. And this shade is called here for it. I'm going to put that right in the center of the crease. I'm just put that color right in. Just like that. Just like how I am doing it. side it literally matched the same pink in the picture so I'm really excited about that then I'll be like oh god I have to make a color that makes like the same color as that one oh it's a pretty pretty pink okay so now I have like a fallout in my eye and now we're gonna go ahead and grab a fluffy brush I'm gonna go back with the purples that we used and I'm gonna use that to fill in this part right here just to like literally define it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab that away. Hopefully it works because sometimes I always have problem doing this part. I don't know why but I do and it's really annoying but I always have problems so it's like I don't know. It's like that's annoying in some way. Oh my god. Hopefully that works out. I'm really trying to look at myself right now. I'm trying to do this part. Okay, so I put some eyeliner on the little on my eyelash line. I'm gonna get doing my lashes, so I'm gonna just put some mascara on. I always put like a line on my eyeliner just to help me with the with the lashes to make it easier to put on. Um, my, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I put some of the lashes on just because the other ones weren't working out. Hopefully these look nice. Um, but now I'm going to do my face off camera, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. But this is how the makeup looks so far. I'm not done with it. I have to do a few more touches, and then I'll show you the rest of the makeup once I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the makeup. I did my foundation and all that. If you guys wanna see what product that I use for my foundation, you you can check out my TikTok. I did a review on it, so just check that out. Um. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and finish the makeup, and we're just gonna fix my brows right now because I'm acting a little bit, a little bit like um annoying. So I'm gonna fix it. Like this part right here is really annoying me. I'm gonna do a little bit a little like a little you know so brows for the moment and, you know just like that whatever anyways we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go with the purple that we used earlier we put the under under i'm gonna go ahead and go with the burgundy Don't make my faces. There we go. We did that part. I'm gonna just add a little bit more of this purple here. Just to really give it that nice spook. There we go. We did that guys, yay. 
And now the fun part comes. I have to put some little things under my eyes. So I do have some glitter. And we're gonna put, it's like pink. This pink, no. We're just gonna go with this purple. Very hot. Just do that. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna get the pen, this wax pen. I'm gonna put that under. Like that. Put that right under the eye. That's the in the picture she has, so I'm gonna do that same thing. Okay, guys, so this is the look. My eyes are done. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's really out of my comfort zone. I never had like anything in my eyes before, so that's a new thing. But I'm gonna finish off my my lips, and what I'm doing. Just a nude color. So I'm gonna grab this one. This is from ColourPop. And this is the shade Curvy. Curve. And go ahead and it's a nude color. is a new kind of color um yeah guys but I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna just fix myself up i didn't put highlight that's the only thing i didn't do but um maybe i should put some highlight maybe i don't know how i feel about this look um really out of my comfort zone really 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 out of my comfort zone because i never put like anything under my eyelids like no, nothing under it it's always like forward like you know but um yeah guys this is it this is my valentine day look for today for work um hopefully it brings a lot of attention to customers because you know it's looking at my eyes but um yeah guys this is the complete look um i don't know how i feel about it but it was really fun to recreate that look from that person I found on Pinterest. Um, whoever she is, I gave you props to you, girl, because you did an amazing job. I feel like you did better than me. Um, honestly, I, I could have done better with the cut creases, but I did try my best to recreate that look. And it's not that bad. I actually did a pretty good job. So it's like, well, it's okay, you know? Maybe just blend out a little bit more of the of the lids but it's like mostly kind of inspiration look i guess instead of a recreation um so a inspiration look because it does kind of look like it but not too much but with that being said guys hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i did filming for you guys i really love doing makeup looks like these because it really brings me out of my comfort zone and really challenges me so this video was mostly an inspiration look because i didn't do exactly how she did it but i did kind of with it like another version of it but yeah guys i just love doing recreation looks inspiration looks so it was a lot of fun but guys i gotta go now i just wanted to say happy valentine's day um it's not sad to be lonely on valentine's day trust me girl it's not guy but it's not trust me it is not so just love yourself have fun today buy yourself chocolates a bear a rose like do, do everything for yourself be happy because that's what i'm trying to do again and just be happy with myself and being by myself you know i don't really need a guy to be happy or to give me things i can just buy them for myself and just be happy with myself so that's one thing that i'm carrying in my head and just reminding myself daily so guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell to so be notified every time I post any new video. 
and leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see next because i would love to tell you stories or do vlogs or do whatever you guys want to see just give me some ideas and i'll get on it um bye guys i love you guys so much happy valentine's day be safe and enjoy the rest of your day or night bye